So time for a couple more replacement rules. This time, um, let's look at uh, the rule implication, which reads, if we have uh, tilde p wedge q, that's interchangeable with p horseshoe q, and vice versa. So we can go from a wedge to a horseshoe if we lose a tilde, keeping the right side the same. Or we can go from a horseshoe to a wedge if we change the horseshoe to a wedge and add a tilde. That's implication. And let's look at this, this one with it. Transposition lets us take a P horseshoe Q and replace it with, or it may replace the corresponding formula that is the very same formula except that the P and Q have traded places and they've each gotten a tilde added to them. Uh, so remember, remember the movie Trading Places, Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy, they traded places. They also went, each one went from being either rich to poor or poor to rich. So you can, you can take a horseshoe statement and they can trade places as long as either you add a tilde to each one or remove a tilde from each one. Remember these rules go two ways. So Mark, do you want to be the student again? And I do. I'll give you a proof to do okay. using these rules. So let's say we have tilde A wedge B. Notice we aren't worried about what the letters stand for, are we? These proofs are purely syntactical in nature. All we're worried about is the logical structure, the shape of the sentences. We're not worried about what they mean, what the letters stand for. So all of this operates just on the syntax, the structure, and not the content, the meaning, what they're about. Like the bones or the skeleton of an argument. Yes, it's like the bones without the meat. Mm -hmm. So this is all for purely formal with no content. It's all form and no content in a sense, isn't it? And we can deal with the content in another context, but logic focuses on the, the structure. Right. Logic is just, this part of logic at mm -hmm. least, formal logic, it's just the structure, not right. what it's about, not the content. So uh, we'll start with not A wedge B, and then how about not C horseshoe B, not B. So we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll get, you got to get um, A horseshoe C okay. here for your conclusion. So. Well, How would you attack it, and then we'll do what we did before. We'll flip it up and okay. do it on a fresh sheet. Well, let's see. These, if it was two horseshoes, I'd be thinking hypothetical syllogism, but they're not. I see that's a horseshoe, that's a horseshoe, and I know through implication I can turn wedges into horseshoes, so I am hip deep in horseshoes. I'm thinking I might be able to get a hypothetical syllogism in here somehow. Yep. That deep, yep. that deep. Yep. Uh, I've got A's and C's here. I'm seeing A's and C's here. These B's. I, I bet I can turn these into two horseshoes or I can get these B's to match up kitty corner and do a um, hypothetical syllogism. Well, that would take two horseshoes. So the first thing I guess I would do is turn that into a horseshoe using implication. I notice that it fits this pattern perfectly. The tilde P is matching up with the tilde A wedge and then the B is an instance of the Q. Uh -huh. So if I did, do uh, you want me to write or do you want to? No, go ahead. Okay. If I was to do an implication on line one, the uh, tilde A would change to an A, the wedge to a horseshoe, and the right side will stay the same. And that would be implication from line one. Brilliant. And at least I've got horseshoes now here. Now these guys don't match up kitty corner the way I would expect for a hypothetical syllogism. But, and these tildes look particularly nauseating, I'm not liking them at all. Uh, I can do transposition on this, flipping the C and the B, like we do here, we flip, and then we end up losing a tilde. So I'm going from this pattern, tilde Q, tilde C, tilde B, tilde Q, and I move over to this. So you get rid of the atrocious, nauseating tildes. Horrible tildes. Yeah. You just get rid of those things. Yeah. So I'll flip it, lose a tilde from each side, and be trans from line two. Can I point out the pattern? Do. Okay. So so then you want to you want to pair this. You want to match this with this. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to match this with this, and you want to match this with this. So what Mark did was uh, he took this, he reverses the order, 
and brings it down and he loses two tildes as well and so he's really going from here to here remember these are two-way rules you can go from here to here or from here to here so he went from here to here when he went from here to here and it doesn't surprise me this is working out it's a valid argument so it's got to work out yeah uh, these bees are matching up like this so i can now do a hypothetical syllogism to get a horseshoe c brilliant and that's hypothetical syllogism three and four and by gum once i get the conclusion i'm done it looks like we proved it's a valid argument again very yeah. good very that, that was a brilliant proof Just, and i'm a brilliant person and you're a brilliant person. Well, it doesn't follow <laughs> from the fact that it was a brilliant proof that you're brilliant. This is true. So but I'm not so brilliant. Maybe an indicator. An indicator. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.